Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at this little guy right here. Live the Music. This is the Allegro. And this is a cool new dongle DAC from Kiwi Ears. And here you see the nice dual connected uh, cable, silver cable, C to C. These are not buttons, they just look like buttons. I mean, this thing looks like a Nintendo controller. Let's just put it out that way. There you have 4.4 uh, and 3.5, and that does light up blue when you turn it on. And then, of course, you got your plus and minus buttons right there, which do work. It would have been cooler, I think, if they had moved the buttons to here and made those plus and minus, but little Kiwi. This is all aluminum, by the way. So let me look in this there, see. Uh, let's see, 3.5 millimeter single-ended and 4.4 millimeter balanced outputs. And this has a ES9038Q2M uh, chip inside of it. It is $60. So that's not bad at all. It's a nice thing. Uh, rated at... 70 milliwatts single-ended and 155 milliwatts balanced at that's at 32 ohms it does have enough power to push my um 350 ohm headphones and my 300 uh, uh fio headphones as well as my planner ones like the ananda and the three other different planners the one that's on my desk over there the uh, sundara So I, I think that the power drainage on this is a very minimal. I think uh, roughly a couple of percentage, like every hour of listening to this, is goes down. So it's not very power consuming, and that of course will depend on the you know the headphones and stuff like that. Uh, good dynamics on this, really really good dynamics. It does the uh, you know the bass very well it is neutral and basically transparent in, it, in its overall presentation i think there's very clear mid-range i think the highs come off extended well depending on you know it's going to depend on what you're listening to headphones earphones whatever it is good overall it has very good details i think it is transparent and detailed for sixty dollars it definitely presents the sound stage to a decent width and it has good power consumption very good build quality being all aluminum it looks cool now that's the selling point right there is this the nostalgic look of this i think that uh, out of everyone that buys this this is probably the first thing that attracts it to them but Unfortunately, these buttons, if these buttons were functioning, wow, this thing would be awesome, you know. Uh, so, I mean, for $60, it does an excellent job. It does far better than I would have expected for a kind of a thing. This little blue light there, by the way, too, when it turns on in the back. So nice. The buttons are nice. They're well-placed. They're placed in this little recessed area right here, so you can get to them easy. Uh, this cable is decent, and it's a nice short cable, C to C, with this dual strand, silver plated, and braided on the inside. So overall construction, out of ten, out of ten, I would give this a ten. And I've used like six hundred dollar dongles, and this one is built really well for sixty bucks. So that said, sounds good, transparent, neutral. Uh, overall, the presentation is good. There's good dynamics. There's good mid-range. There's good treble and soundstage. Uh, of course, you know, the degree of that depends on what you're listening to and how much power you're pumping into it. And, you know, just overall the source that is coming into this to go out to the headphones or earphones, whatever you're listening to. I think it does a good job. That should be the most important part. Inside the box, you get the cable and you get the unit. And there's manual and that's about it. I just want to double check the specs. So yeah, it is a single DAC chip. And let's see, SNR is 123. It really does have some good clarity there. There's not, a, not any noise that I heard of even using all BAs like my West Tones 
which is a $1,500 IM on a $60 DAC, sounded good. It did. It sounded good. These sound good. You can't go wrong for the $60 for this, I think. I'm sure there's probably cheaper ones out there that have better specs, but ultimately, you know, 60 bucks for a nice chunk of aluminum that looks like a controller, I'm in. Definitely. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. And this has been the Kiwi Ears Allegro dongle deck with the cool retro styling. Be safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.